Hello there, welcome to today's video. So I'm here in Brazilton visiting my parents' house and baby sleeping and they were like, I can't believe you're leaving us. You can't leave us. And I was like, no, I have to go shopping. So I only have 30 minutes. Let's go in and see what we can find.
Okay, I'm heading back to the car. That was a success. Um, towards the end, I kind of stopped telling you guys what I was picking up. But um, just to make sure, I'll do a little haul. I'm not sure if I'm tacking it on to this or not. But um, anyways, thank you so much for shopping. And I will either see you for the haul or see you next time. Bye. Okay, so we're back home. Here's the haul of everything that I got. Um, I did show you guys these in the video as the last clip. And I did end up getting them, but we'll come back to them. So I picked up this plate for me. You guys know I've been wanting to do a plate wall, but it's still in the works. Um, it has that classic um, white and blue Grecian look, just very stunning from afar, um, but I'm pretty sure it's Italian. So, but anyways, it was $3 and it was just nice and, nice and mini. So I picked that up for me. And then this, I actually found in the bathroom. So I can't remember, I don't think I told you guys that in the video, but I found this in the bathroom. Don't worry, I washed my hands before picking it up, but um, very mid-century, um, just the lines are just amazing. Like such a statement trinket dish for an entry table or a coffee table, just beautiful, beautiful lines. Um, I am so surprised that it's not signed, but I'm sure once I get it in the light box, um, it might show a signature somewhere. But anyways, awesome design, awesome color, and awesome shape. This set um, I did pick up from the same guy as this, and I have bought and sold this before. I bought it at like a Salvation Army or something for like 50 cents, and I flipped it for like 20 something so I know it sells um and then but mine didn't have a cup so this one had the one cup and the sake so it's like a single sake and it was only two dollars so I had to pick that up just because even though I don't need it I've sold it before I know it sells well and I just couldn't leave it for that price so then these, I think you guys could tell in the video, they were $2 each. Just look how cute they are. Like, they, there's no duplicates. So even the ones that are holding like similar, oh, you can't even see. Even the ones that are holding like similar um, items, like their clothing are different. Um, it just, yeah, they're all doing something unique. There's like watermelon and like a bread, a baker. And this guy is holding a hoe and this guy has his little bag on his back like they're just they're so cool like look at the detail in them and then out of the two larger guys I went ahead and grabbed this one um, my husband is actually right there looking them up um, and I sh I explained to him what the other one looked like and he's like he should have bought it um, but if he's there next time, you guys know I, I I left quite a few pieces behind that I wanted to pick up today. Um, but I don't know. I just, they're so cool. Apparently they are, what are they? Pakistani, what? Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Um, they are souvenirs, but just very unique. Really cool. So if somebody has been there and they want them or they're from there and they want them, I don't know. They're really cool. I'm... I'm glad I picked them up and for only $1.99 each and he was $2.49. Um, they were just so cute. So, okay, my husband just filled me in. They are actually vintage. So when I when I found out that they're souvenir, I kind of was a little bit deflated. Um, but actually he said they are vintage. So they actually go back to the 60s from what he's finding. And then these styles are probably between 70s to 80s, early 90s. Um, he's finding the big, this size and larger size, larger sizes. So like eight to 12 inches, but we can't find any of the mini ones. So that's a good sign actually. Like in certain things, if you can't find anything, it's usually a bad sign. But when it comes to stuff like this, especially if they're vintage, that's a very good sign that we can't find any of them. But anyways, I just wanted to give you that update and I'll keep you posted on how they do. Anyways, that's everything that I got. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.